Hello, welcome to Maths with Nile. Today we'll be doing equivalent fractions. Hi Nile, and what will we be using for today's lesson? Um, we will be using our fruits, blueberries and raspberries. I got them the wrong way. And we will also be using counters. Okay. And um, fractions. And we've got some fractions on the board. So can we start off looking at those fractions on the board? Can you remind us? what one half means. One half means like one out of two equal parts Okay, so can and you... the two equal parts make one number. One whole. So can you show us the two equal parts for one half? Can you separate them a bit? Two okay. equal parts. Okay, so we have two equal parts. So one of those is one half and if we put them together you said it makes? One whole. One whole. So can you explain what one quarter means? One quarter is the same just in four pieces. One out of four pieces. One out of four pieces. And the four pieces. pieces make one whole. Okay, so can you separate them a little bit to show us the four pieces that makes one whole? Okay, very good. Okay, so what about... Can you take off one of the quarters? Can you move it away from the rest of them? So that's one quarter there. Can you point to it first? Boom! Okay, what about if we wanted two quarters? You can just get two of the equal parts. Okay. Okay, now that two quarters looks like something that we've seen before. Okay. I think it looks like a half. Okay, so can you put it next to it? Okay, so those two pieces are equal. So based on what you've just put on the board, one half is equal to? Two quarters. Very good. So let's have a look at some of the stuff you have on your table. Let's do the raspberries first. So bring that a bit closer to you. So how many raspberries do you have? Um, I have 12, I think. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. And you said that splitting something, finding one half, what do you do? You get two equal parts. Okay. That, so I'll be a 1, 1, 1, 1, Okay, one, well can one. you do that first and can you split it into two equal parts? Uh. Let me just move them. So, one, 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 two, 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 three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and Six plus six equals twelve. So you've split them into two equal parts. So what is one half of twelve? One half of twelve is six. Okay. And you just said one half is the same as what? How many quarters? Two. Two quarters. So can you split those into quarters? Just as they are. So can you split the halves into two equal parts? Okay. So I want to see them all separate on the plate now. I want to see four equal parts. And, uh, and the four equal parts contain three raspberries. Three each. What about two quarters? How many would two quarters be? Indeed, six. Six of them. So we're showing that one half is the same as two quarters. So put your hand and divide those into one half. One half. Yes, and we get? Six. Six, because we've done that before. Yeah. So one half of 12 is? Six. And two quarters of 12 is? Two quarters of 12 is six. Yes, they're equal. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah, kind of. So let's look at those blueberries. How many blueberries do we have? 16, I think. Yeah. Okay, so can we quickly split those into two equal parts? One, two. It's a good technique. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Good. So, what is one half of sixteen? One half of sixteen is eight. Okay. So, I want you to remember the answer to that question. One half of, of sixteen, 16 equals is eight. eight. Now, you have the, stro the blueberries in two equal parts. I want them to be divided into four equal parts. So, so, what are you going to do? Half of eight is four. We all hopefully know that. So, so I, I just took four, four for me. Okay, so before you said one half of 16 Ten. was equal to? Eight. Eight. So, did you remember that answer yes. before? Okay. What I want you to do is to see if you were correct in saying that one half and two quarters are equal. How many blueberries do you have in two quarters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you've just counted two quarters and you've got an eight. Yeah. So that proves that... Um, one quarter plus one quarter is equal to one half. Which is two quarters. Brilliant. Okay, so put those blueberries back. Next. So we have 24. Uh, I think I know. This is just a guess. I have I have no idea. Are we going to be putting them one, 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 one? Yes. Can you do cool. that for us now? So make sure you split them into four equal parts. One, 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 one. You've separated them into quarters. How many counters in one quarter? Six. Can you show us the quarter? Very good. So can you point at two quarters and tell us how you would work out how many counters in two quarters? Double two quarters. six. Which is? Twelve. So you know two quarters of twenty-four? It's twelve. Oh. And also half of twenty-four is twelve. Oh, can you put your hand and show us the halfway point? Very good. So we know we've proven once again that one half is equal to, to two, two quarters. quarters. Okay, brilliant. Now we're going to turn the board around. Okay, now that's going to take a little long. So we have to say goodbye for a second. Okay, so we have flipped the board around. And we have got these fractions here. So these are twelves that make one whole. These are tenths that make one whole. These are six that makes one whole. And these are eights that make one whole. And this is the odd one out. Which is a half. So you said, uh, thank you for explaining which each of those are. I'm just going to ask you a further question. How many tenths make one whole? Ten. And how many twelves make one whole? Twelve. I don't have enough fingers. Twelve. So how many sixths make one whole? Six. And how many eighths make one whole? Eight. Eight. So what we're doing now is we're finding other fractions that are equivalent to one half. Do you remember which one we've just done? Uh, two quarters. Two quarters. So we know that one half is equal to two quarters. But there's many other ways. So let's start with one sixth. What I want you to do, can you show us which one of the one sixth? These are the six that make a whole six of them. Okay, so I would like you to remove as many as you need to until what's left looks like one half. You should do one at a time just to make sure that they don't fall. One. Okay. But we need to see. Two. And half of six equals three, so it makes sense that I took a three and there's three left and it looks like a half. Okay, so what you're saying is the three six is equal to one half and you think it makes sense because half of six equals three. Yeah. Brilliant. So one half is equal to how many six? Three. Three six. So those are, those fractions are, what's the word? Equal. Yes, equivalent fractions. One half equals three sixths. So can you do the same thing with one eighth so we can figure out what 
one half, how many eighths one half is equal to, but we want to see what you're doing. Yeah. So half of a equals four. So you think it'll be four? Yes. Okay. So you've taken out one, but stand to the side so we can see you removing two. them. Two. Two. Three. Oh my sir. Four. Good. So again, you said half of eight is four. You removed four. And, and it, it looks, looks like, like a half. So what are the equivalent fractions? One half is equal to? Two quarters. Well, we're not doing quarters. Oh. We've just done? Four eighths. Four eighths. That's the one we're on. So one half is also equivalent to four eighths. Okay, can you do the tenths for us, please? Okay, I think there'll be five left because half of ten equals five. Okay, so that's worked out before, so I think you might be right. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm right again. It does look like a half. Okay, very good. So what's the equivalent fraction? One half is equal to? Five tenths. Okay, so we got twelve. I'm going to split it into half by removing them one by one by one by one until it looks like a half. Okay. One. Two. Three. And half of twelve is six, so I think think the answer bill will be six. Three, four. Five. Six. Yeah, six. So what are the equivalent fractions? Six twelfths is equal to one half. Okay, very good. So we're going to just finish off with a very, very quick... quick. Quiz. Okay. okay. I love the quiz. So let's, what fraction out of 20 will be equal to one half? 10. 10 twentieths. Very good. So that's what I want you to say. 10 twentieths. Good. What fraction out of 14 will be equal to one half? 7 fourteenths. Very good. That doesn't sound right. It's right. It's correct. Right. What fraction out of 50 will be equal to one half? 25 fifties. 25 fifties. Very good. What fraction out of 100 will be equal to one half? 50 one hundredths. 50 hundredths. Very, very good. I'm going to give you one more tricky one. What fraction out of 56 will be equal to one half? Um, <laughs> 56 uh, one half of 60 equals 23, 28. 28 out of 56. Excellent. Brilliant. That was fantastic. Do you think you understand equivalent fractions a bit more? Yes! Okay, I'll see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now, bye! Don't forget to press that like button!